Are you online dating and not finding the right person? Tune in today and find out how you might be getting in your own way of finding true love. Welcome back to Second Act TV. Happy that uh, Sandy's staying over for another segment with some great information on having the right attitude when you're um, online dating. Um, Sandy, tell us what you mean by that. Well, I think that uh, people's attitude can definitely get in the way. First of all, whatever you're feeling leaks out of you, whether you think you're showing it or not. So if you're on a date and you're feeling like, oh my God, he is so much older than I thought he'd be and oh, he's boring me to death, but I have a big smile on my face. Um, he can feel it. You know, he's not going to call you back because he gets it. He gets it whether you said a word or not. But but beyond the, the date and how you feel, um, people often create lists that are ridiculous and they're often very long and they create they contain items that are absolutely um, keeping them from love rather than drawing them to the right partner so I'll give you an example Um, height is one of them height is you know he has to be six feet tall even five foot two women are saying he has to be six feet tall and okay I know you might feel more protected by a tall guy but that's something that I encourage people to let go of But beyond that, um, there are women who say a man must have a PhD. He must have a higher level of education. And um, I always push back on that one. Some of our most incredibly successful people have not gone to college. So if you're only looking for a PhD guy, you're going to negate a whole bunch of people who are really smart. And, And the same with jobs. Uh, so I had a client this morning who was looking for somebody who was uh, very professional, had to make a lot of money. And so we got, I got curious. And so I started to peel back, what's important to you about him being a professional? What's important about him making a lot of money? <clears throat> so it really was based on her past experiences. The man she had been married to, a man she had been in a relationship with, who um, may have expected her to be sort of a sugar mama. Uh, which is what she's not interested in doing. And um, I had a client who actually paid for most things because she made a lot more money than her boyfriend. But she never checked in with him and said, um, she never even asked him if he would pay for stuff. She just assumed. And she was she was kind of a caretaker personality and a people pleaser. So when I started working with her, I said, I said, let's let's take a look at this. I want you to have this money talk with your boyfriend. And she sat down with him. It was a very hard conversation to have, but it turned out that he made um, less money, but he saved much more money. He had over a million dollars in savings and his house was paid for and he was in good shape. She, on the other hand, was about to have her house foreclosed because she had given away so much of her money that she couldn't pay her mortgage. So, you know, if you look at the externals, it can really throw you off. So always go to the core values that are beneath them, the character traits, kindness, compassion, all the things that I spoke about before, those are going to matter more. How does a person show up in a crisis? That is going to matter so much. You know, people can show up and be really charming in the beginning of a relationship, but when when the chips are down, I once once dated a guy who totally disappeared in a crisis. And I I sat him down. I said, listen... Um, I need a man who's going to be there thick or thin. I mean, he has to be there rain or shine. And if you're not that guy, that's okay. Um, but I'm leaving. And he was like, no, 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 I am that guy. I'm so sorry. I'll be that guy. No, he wasn't that guy. So at the end, you know, this, he said to me, well, can't we be friends? And I said, but you're not my friend. Um, so we, we can't be friends. So, uh, you know, we, we have to be careful. We, and the friendship is really important, you know, How you connect with somebody and really have an inspirational relationship, not one of deprivation, but one of inspiration. And that's something that obviously that develops and that's where the attitude comes in. So, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you're right. On with online dating, especially, you you tend to because of the kind of questions they ask. You do. There's a funnel that's put in place that. You know, you, I guess you need to be aware that, that you can overcome that or, or not let that block you, for, like, as you said, from finding love. I mean, you can always expand your preferences. And um, I have a great story of a client who 
met a man who lived three and a half hours away. So a lot of people are reluctant to do the long distance thing. They say, well, I'm not willing to travel. Well, maybe he's willing to travel. Maybe he has more time. Maybe you can meet halfway and then, but you have to have an end game. You have to have the end plan. Um, so she had before him, she had dated a guy who was about 45 minutes away and he ended up breaking up with her on the phone and said, um, I'm with another woman. She lives around the corner. You're too far. <laughs> okay. He was a jerk. The next guy was an amazing, loving, kind man who, um, he ended up coming, he came to town, booked a hotel room, um, a real gentleman. They ended up getting married and he still, they still have a commuter marriage until he can move his, his psychiatry practice to her town, but he's going to move. He's going to pick up and move. And he's close to 80. There's a huge age difference, huge age difference. And that's another thing. Like, look at the person. Don't look at the outside. You know, if he's 15 years older than you, but he's vibrant and alive and amazing, you know, you get 10 good years together. That's 10 more years than you would have had. And so go for it. You know, go for the, go for the person, not the, not the shiny objects. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's terrific, Sandy. Thank you so much again for staying over. Um, again, uh, we will link to Sandy's information on our uh, in our video description. So click the link. Uh, I encourage you to contact Sandy uh, if you have questions, you know, about finding love again after fifty. So see you on another segment soon. Thanks again for watching. As always, if you like this information, please hit the subscribe button right here. Or if you're on your mobile device, there's a link below to subscribe. Thanks so much for your support.